Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the lens effects within Flexi Print. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Now if we head into the program here. So now when it comes to the effects, this is nice little things you can add to the vectors and that or your designs that makes it look uh, and react slightly different. Now the lenses can be a bit confusing at first and I will explain to you in shortly why to operate because uh, the first time I used them I thought they must be broken but uh, I just uh, misunderstood them because they are, yeah, I'll show shortly. So what I'm going to do is just grab this little Grimmie I made a while ago and then in order to get the effects you want to go here on top to your main menu and just fix the zoom here. So main menu then you'll see we've got a nice little drop down menu called effects and in here we have an array of different options. Now the top one we're going to be looking at is lens. So this is a few different ways to affect your design. So let's first go to transparency. This is pretty straightforward. And then on the right here on your design central, you can see we can actually choose the amount of opacity. So you can lower this or increase it depending on what you're going for. Now this is all pretty straightforward. If I click off here, you can see we set the transparency. And yeah, like I said, straightforward. So let's just go, I'm going to undo that. So then uh, we just go back to a nice base. Here we go. So now um, let's get to the next one. This is where it gets confusing. So let's go, I go to lens, I affect lens, I go invert. And then you see it just created us a black shape here with like weird white outlines. It's definitely not what we're looking for when we want to invert. We're expecting colors and everything to invert. And that is where the catch comes in. So it's the effect is a lens, which means whatever shape you use. So let's uh, maybe grab. I'm just going to create a circle here. So it represents more of a lens. And then let's do the same thing here. So now I'm going to go effects, lens, and then uh, invert. Now whatever I move this over, whatever behind it is going to be inverted. So it basically works as a lens. Obviously. <laughs> That's why I say it could be confusing. So it doesn't invert the actual shape, it does the lens. So now you can obviously choose where you want this and then um, yeah, adjust it over here. The border is not so obvious or the, um, the stroke. But if you wanted, you could obviously go here, go transparent stroke and then it will be no stroke. So some of the other effects you might want to do that where it makes more sense. But yeah, so yeah, that's something it's important. I find that or found it was uh, that you need to keep in mind that the shape you're choosing it's going to work as a lens and everything behind it will be affected by the effect you added to that effect so yeah a bit confusing but it's actually not that confusing I think I just made it more difficult for myself than what it needed to be so let's just look at a few other of these effects so the lens effects so now we've got brighten now you can imagine that does exactly what it says so if I move it over here, we can brighten the image based on the values we add here on our design central. And then uh, let's look at the next one. I'm just going to leave this there. So we go effects, lens, then we've got wireframe. This is also handy. So anything behind that will turn into a wireframe. And, uh, and like I said, this is maybe one of the spaces where it can be handy to perhaps. Uh, let's just grab, let's make a square. So you get an idea. So let's say I want to make this entire design a wireframe, but without having the stroke of the actual shape in front of it. So we go wireframe. Now we can take this stroke and put it away. And now you can see we've got a nice little clean wireframe without the borders. I'll just do that. And then, so that is one way you can go about it. Also pretty handy. And then the last one here we have is magnify. It's also a very interesting little feature of this. And that is whatever it's over, it will magnify it for you. So you can have some interesting uh, concepts going if you actually play with this. Um, obviously, 
depending on how creative you are. You could do some whack things. <laughs> I mean, uh, but also the beauty is this works with different shapes. So you can obviously draw yourself like unique shapes and then use this as a form of lens. So let's just grab this, fix, then go lens, go invert, and then, uh, okay, we're having some weird, weird results just because, yeah, I'm gonna try to explain it. I don't know myself, I think it's because the one is magnified, so now we're seeing a weird result. Yeah, you can obviously, if it's artifacting like that, normally what happens is you go view, refresh, and then it will update it for us. But yeah, there we go, some effects, like I said, play around with them, because uh, you might not want to use all of them, but it's good to understand how they work, because they're ultimately just a lens that um, affects items behind that. But yeah, in the meanwhile though, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go, yeah, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.